Hello, this is John Michaels with Watchtower Security, and this is another episode of Caught on Camera uh, in the multifamily space here, powered by Watchtower Security. Again, my name is John Michaels. I'm uh, the regional sales manager out of the Southeast, and uh, joining me today is Stephen Claggett, our director of Forensic Review. And uh, today we talk about all things on how Watchtower has assisted law enforcement uh, throughout the country in our forensic review requests, thanks to our customers investing in our video surveillance service. So with that said, Stephen, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, John, thanks. Hey, today is a Friday. I think we just smile a little bigger on Fridays, um, especially when the beards look strong. You know, I, I'd have to say your beard is looking awesome uh, as you're in St. Louis and I'm out here in South Carolina joined by Zoom and our awesome marketing team behind the scenes making this production work. So Stephen, thank you for making time today. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into our first uh, review. And that is um, an unfortunate incident um, that resulted in a homicide. So we're gonna try to keep it very high level um, and obviously not share any too much details, but I think that's an important thing to say to our viewing audience is that it's not always um, you know, just PG or PG-13 activity um, that we see uh, on our cameras at Watchtower. There's unfortunate incidents that happen. And then when those things do happen, it's important for our customers as well as law enforcement officials to really know that they can rely on us uh, to work with them and get them the information um, in a very quick manner so that they can hold those people accountable for those kind of severe crimes. So um, let's look into our first review here. Hey, so one of the things that I remember about this review is, um, you know, one of the promises that I make to our prospective new clients is, hey, you know, when Watchtower is installed, one of the things that you're outsourcing is just that relationship with local law enforcement. And so one of the things that I have found over the four years that I've been with Watchtower is I do get the calls on Saturdays or Sundays at different times of the day. And it's usually LEOs that need uh, information from us like ASAP. And unfortunately, it does a lot of times include homicides like this one. And what I remember about this is, is a weekend um, and I got a call um, on an early Sunday morning from a detective uh, with this law enforcement agency. And he said, hey, John, I just want you to know that, you know, I called your office, um, which I love that, you know, I talked to one of our forensic reviewers there. I think it's fair to share the name, Alfie, um, fantastic reviewer. Um, and he had already done so much for the detective that he essentially gave him the case. And he being our forensic reviewer from you know, vehicle descriptions to uh, enhance photos of the people involved in this incident. And how it all started at a high level is that um, law enforcement didn't have really anything to go on. Um, they had a runner that was jogging early Sunday morning and came upon a body, unfortunately, that was deceased and a vehicle that had been burned. Well, before the vehicle was burned, a cell phone was being able to recover or be recovered by law enforcement. Law enforcement shared with me that the cell phone last pinged from the apartment community that had Watchtower installed. And that's really all the information they had. And so the detective was able to reach out to our review team over the phone, explain that information. Our review team was able to um, review footage within a certain time frame and identify um, not only this, the victim, um, unfortunately, uh, had footage of, of the victim going in the apartment, and being carried out of the apartment, but also all the suspects, um, you know, and Stephen may elaborate too of all the other activity that we saw after the crime had been committed to hopefully, you know, in their um, mind, clean up what happened. And 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 it was just a, an eye-opening experience. And if anything, it, it almost reminds me of how, um, how tough this situation must be for our forensic reviewers to really dig through this footage and watch something um, like this and 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 not necessarily get emotional about it, if, if that's fair to say. Um, and, and more importantly, do what we've promised the client is to, to really partner with law enforcement and get them the information they need. Law enforcement, this detective shared with me over the phone, that John, he's like, you know, we literally are making an apprehension right now because of how quickly your review team was able to pull the footage and find out exactly how this crime occurred and who's responsible. And now we're making multiple apprehensions and it's all thanks to Watchtower. And, you know, one of the things I remember sharing with this detective and I work with him on other cases 
in the uh, Tennessee market that this happened, but um, it, it's really the reminder to law enforcement that, hey, we appreciate you telling us that and everything that our review team does for our customers, but it's also our clients, you know, that took a chance on us and and did, you know, sign up for the investment for our services and to continue with us that we're able to provide this service, you know, to law enforcement on behalf of our client. And so in such a tragic incident like this is that we're referencing, um, I would imagine that uh, it helps give some closure to the family and friends of that victim knowing that those people were held accountable because that apartment community did, you know, uh, invest in such a comprehensive video surveillance, like what we do at Watchtower. So Stephen, I, I guess with that said, is is there anything you'd like to share about that and kind of just how your team maybe deals with seeing terrible things that I know we don't always share, you know, with our public audience, um, like in this platform. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, bad things happen. Uh, and that's, you know, part of the job. We have um, several, you know, more seasoned reviewers that have completed, you know, many of these requests. And it certainly, you know, requires a lot of emotional awareness. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I want to say necessarily detach yourself from the situation or from the victims, because it can be personal at times. And, it, you know, we try to use that you know, as a motivator, we we want to find out who's responsible. We want to find justice, you know, for the victims, for the families. Um, and so, you know, with with these and in this particular case, we didn't even really know what we were getting into. I mean, we knew that there was a homicide, but we didn't know that it occurred at the property. And so we were just given some limited information. We use that, you know, we could have simply just handed over a bunch of security footage and said, here, go ahead and look through it. You know, maybe you'll find something. We took the time over the weekend, you know, as a 24 seven operation to try to put together those pieces. And, and as you mentioned, John, the whole thing, you know, just blew wide open where they had limited information. Now they had a specific unit. They were able to get a search warrant and then make multiple arrests all within a very, very short amount of time. Um, so for us to, you know, be able to provide that and then, of course, hear the feedback from law enforcement, um, you know, while it is difficult to have to watch this kind of video, it's it's very rewarding in the end, you know, on our side of it to know that we're at least making a difference and helping with the investigation. Absolutely. And, you know, what I've found, Stephen, you know, working in, I guess, what would be 11 total different markets across the Southeast on behalf of Watchtower is these are the kind of experiences for law enforcement that help provide them successful outcomes that really, you know, they then share with other apartment communities, you know, within their metro that, hey, you know, you keep telling me that you guys are struggling with video surveillance. You guys need to look at this company. Um, because here's here's what we've been able to do with them. And so, you know, as sincere as that can sound too to our law enforcement partners, you know, I just appreciate them being such a big advocate of us. And, um, you know, I think this is a great example of how in such a, a tragic situation. But to your point, you know, that's why Watchtower is here. A lot of the times where I hear from our customers for the first time before they sign up with Watchtowers, because something bad happened. You know, it's not because a car got broken into it's that final straw unfortunately where somebody was murdered or somebody was shot in a parking lot and um you know now there's litigation or there's a fatality involved they're just you know at this point they know they need to make that investment and and um and so it's uh just it's how we we get our business i guess and just being real with it um but doing it really well so that uh you know both our customers and law enforcement can rely on us in these kind of situations so um you know, so I think, you know, just thank you for sharing that. And thank you for all that you do to kind of just really kind of help your team too through that emotional awareness and through those exercises to, you know, be able to kind of look through footage like this on such a regular basis. Um, Cause I know that that would take a lot. So just so appreciative of our team at, in our forensic review department and, and uh, this incredible service that they're providing for our law enforcement partners, as well as clients. So, Stephen, tell us a little bit about this next uh, review um, that's up in our queue right now. Uh, yeah, so this was one of actually several uh, events at this particular 
property um, that really, you know, kind of escalated over time. It started as low level, um, you know, breaking into cars. And then there were units that were being broken into. And, uh, you know, it, it's a challenge to kind of narrow down where this individual was coming from and where they were going. Because sometimes it was coming in from off property. Sometimes we would lose them in the middle of it, you know, in the pitch black and, you know, some some blank spaces in the coverage. Um, but, you know, oftentimes, you know, because we are so close to these properties and we have individual teams that are responsible for the same requests at each property, you start to notice a trend and it's, hey, I recognize this person. That's the one from that review I did two days ago or a week ago or even a month ago. And so we started to put the pieces together. And when we do that, we start to combine them. And if law enforcement is involved, which usually they are, we make a point of saying, hey, here's more tacking onto that same exact investigation that you're currently in. And in this particular case, um, again, it just continued to escalate to then it, he was breaking into units while people were home, you know, which we hadn't seen before. And then there was a firearm that was involved. And so as it escalated, you know, the police ended up setting up, you know, I don't know if I want to call it a sting operation necessarily, but it was a high likelihood he was going to be back. And towards the end there, they were waiting for him and and it took a bit, um, but they did, you know, finally they they made an apprehension and we've got this whole backlog of evidence saying not only is it just this one incident on the date that we caught you, right. we've got this history saying that for the last month you've been doing this at least once a week or more. Um, so we were highly invested in this one and, and very grateful for uh, law enforcement working with us and finally catching up with this guy as I'm sure the client was very appreciative as well. You know, I love learning about this um, incident for the first time. I think, you know, one of the things that it reminds me just on the sales side of, of things is when, you know, we're talking to our clients before they sign up with Watchtower and they still, they, they ask questions on, well, what am I going to really benefit from this forensic review service that you keep talking about, John, that kind of maybe, you know, it makes the investment on a monthly basis in our service uh, a little more substantial to to people that maybe would think it'd be less. And I think this is a great example of that, Stephen, is that, you know, because learning from you too, that we kind of do geographical teams, those friends or group viewers are familiar with that community as if they've lived in that community because they've reviewed so much activity that's been reported to them that it's almost like an extension of having local law enforcement that's used to seeing that offender that you're talking about, um, which I love about our team, you know, that we're going to be proactive as well. So now that we've done a review once, we've identified who the offender is, now we're that much more familiar um, and we can help build that case. It's no wonder that law enforcement officials love working with us because we're essentially helping them, you know, um, over and beyond what maybe a property manager would be able to do if they were having to pull footage themselves um, and figure out how to access the DVR. Um, you know, they're being interrupted constantly throughout the day from residents and future residents. And it would make sense that they would maybe miss that, that, hey, maybe this is somebody that I saw three weeks ago when I was pulling footage last for law enforcement. So I think it does showcase just the benefit of outsourcing that time of investigations on behalf of somebody operating the camera or looking at camera footage to, you know what, Watchtower, you guys do that for us. And so I love hearing that. I love hearing of the case, you know, and just the multiple incidents that were in place. Um, and it's no surprise to me that law enforcement was able to make a successful apprehension because of our hard work um, in this case. So anything else to add to it, Stephen? Yeah, um, just a, you know, extension, I guess, of that is just, you know, again, the way that our, our team is um, formatted, you know, it's not just Watchtower, not just the review department as a whole that you've got this direct line with. But, you know, we have individual teams that, again, they manage the majority, if not all of the requests that a single you know client or property will put in. So you have an established point of contact by reaching out to that you know particular team supervisor or you even get to know the individual reviewers within each of those teams. Um, so we build those relationships, not only at the property level, but certainly with law enforcement in the area. 
And it's just helpful to have that ongoing communication. Um, so when you do call and you need to talk about a case or a string of events that have been occurring, you're not talking to somebody that's completely unfamiliar with it. It's not brand new to them where they have to read over all of these notes. Chances are when you call, you're going to be connected with somebody that has already been in touch with you about it, is very much aware of the challenges that you're facing, um, and it, it streamlines the whole thing. So it's it's right something on. that I think really impressive. I, I agree with how impressive that is. And, you know, I was just reminded as I'm listening to you of even today, you know, I was um, I had a lunch in person and it takes me about five minutes to get back to my laptop. And during that time, I got a call from a regional manager, um, you know, with Graystar. And she was like, hey, John, this is what's going on at the property right now with one of our, you know, residents reporting their F-150 being broken into. And, you know, what I said in that situation was like, hey, look, I'm not in front of my laptop, but if you hang up with me and you call our office in St. Louis, they'll get you to the right forensic review team um, so that they can start pulling that footage immediately and helping you before I could do anything uh, for you. And um, again, it was just another reminder that, um, you know, that regional manager, she she now felt like she was taken care of. And and all it was was, hey, call the office and, and they'll get you in touch with the right person. And of course, that reviewer has known this property for more than five years that we've been installed um, and was helping capture what was needed to find out who broke in that F-150, you know, before I even got to my laptop. So another reminder of just how truly concierge our service is at Watchtower, um, that anything and everything video surveillance, it's it's literally a click of a button away through an email, through a request on one of our on our app, on Watchtower Security's app or, you know, simply making a phone call uh, to our corporate office like like she did today. So so thank you, Stephen, and your team for, again, tremendous work. And and again, I, I'm sure this is why we get so many great testimonials from our law enforcement professionals is, is because of cases like this one. That was um, such a, a number of different times that we had, you know, on evidence of this individual committing crimes. So great job. Hey, so our next review, um, it looks like our law enforcement friends um, basically had to break windows and use tear gas and do all that fun stuff to make an apprehension at one of our customers' apartment communities. What do you say, Stephen? Yeah, you know, one of these uh, exciting, you know, early morning raids or uh, catching them off guard, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they, they had an active investigation where they needed to uh, serve the warrant and in this case, they ended up having to break some windows and and go in guns blazing. Um, so obviously, you know, you want to uh, apprehend the people that you need to get, uh, but it, sometimes that comes with damages. And it's a matter of well, who's going to replace all these windows and who's going to pay for these repairs. Um, so that was, you know, the gist of it. I'm sure they wanted to see documentation as far as the actual arrest itself. Uh, but certainly also having the documentation that it was, hey, these damages were incurred during this particular raid so that they could get, you know, fairly compensated or at least reimbursed. Yeah, I mean, it reminds me of, you know, when we talk to, you know, a lot of our customers are third party managers, right, for a, an ownership group of the actual apartment community. So I can always empathize with our customers that they know they're going to have that call on Mondays with the investor. And it's kind of comforting. Um, for our, our customers to know that they can have this edited footage for that call so that they can share that with their clients that own the asset uh, regarding that insurance premium that they're maybe having to deal with now uh, because of the a certain amount of the, the damage that was caused. But at the same time, both the owner of the asset as well as the management group is is pretty thankful for us too um, because we were able to you know, provide them what they needed, but then also um, help really send that message throughout the community that, hey, uh, maybe something, you know, maybe somebody that was bad that was was here, they're no longer here now um, because of law enforcement and what they did. And, um, you know, hopefully that would help kind of create that that tone that you would want as a resident in an apartment community that um, people that are doing bad things live somewhere else, you know. So, um, but yeah, with that said, I think, again, just reliable um, is the key word that I keep hearing from law enforcement and our customers to be able to provide them this kind of footage. So whether it's insurance or litigation or you know, anything that they need, we're able to provide it for them. 
Yeah, agreed. That's a pretty common theme that I hear as well. Talking with law enforcement um, is, you know, oftentimes you, you get to the scene of a crime or an incident and you see that the cameras are are there, but then it's always uh, very questionable. Are, are they real cameras? Are they actually working? Are the recordings going to be there? And if they are, are you are they going to be grainy, you know, black and white? You can't really define anything. Um, but then they're they're either very pleased when they see it if they haven't worked with us before or we have some that say oh this is a watchtower system great i know this is going to be in perfect condition and we're going to get you know our guy so that's that's also very you know rewarding for us to hear as well absolutely and i think it it reminds us of how many apartment communities you know law enforcement officers work with on a daily basis that the majority still are maybe not investing in, in cameras that are currently working, right? To your point. And so they're almost expecting the worst when they're getting the best, you know, when it comes to a watchtower community. And again, that's thanks to our customers taking a risk on us at first and investing with us, right? Um, I think one of the things that's important to point out, and you can see it in the clarity of, of these images that we're looking at, um, is just the, you know, the quality of the footage, right? So every five years we replace our cameras, um, you know, with our customers through a renewal. And, you know, what I always like to remind our customers is, you know, how long have you had your iPhone that you're you're texting right now when you're 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 talking to me, but you're texting and um, it's never more than five years old. Right. And it's the same. And that, like we don't want bad quality photos that we're taking on our iPhones. Why would we want bad quality you know, cameras on an, on an asset, especially a multimillion dollar asset when bad things like this happen? Um, you're going to want to have a nice, crisp, you know, clear picture. And that's what you can rely on. Hey, Stephen, this next one, it looks like is involving a suspect that came on in the community or entered the community without really supposed to be there, if you will, and then tried multiple break-ins. Um, does that sound right? Yeah, that's uh, that's my general understanding. You know, this is a, a gated community. And in this case, you know, the vehicle followed another one as they were entering right through the gate. You know, which is kind of a common thing that that we see, you know, if somebody's not keying in their code or using a, a fob to actually enter and they follow somebody in. Usually that's kind of a tip off that they don't belong there and they're probably not up to, to anything good. But, yeah, a, uh, a attentive resident, I believe, who I uh, ended up, you know, kind of recognizing, you know, some suspicious behavior and uh, managed to tip off police who were able to come in and. Um, you know, as as I understand it, this individual, sure enough, was attempting to to break into units or storage units, and uh, you know, thankful to them being you know aware and attentive, calling it in. Police were able to quickly arrive and uh, arrest this individual. You know, before they they were actually on their way back to their car, presumably to try to leave the property, but police intercepted them, made the arrest, and the rest is history. Yeah, I think a, a couple of things stick out to me just like, you know, looking over this incident, though, is one is how many times do people that live at the community with a gate, um, you know, allow somebody to follow them in? You're not necessarily in a position to stop and and not allow them to to maybe follow you through the gate without them being able to click it open. But then to to report that, to call law enforcement and say, hey, this just happened. Um, you know, kudos to that resident, you know, hopefully their property manager gave them a little break on rent or, you know, a little extra insomnia cookie delivery to their front door uh, for what they did. Um, it's a little plug to insomnia by just have to share. They are not a sponsor of this podcast yet, at least. Um, but the second thing is, is, you know, it just shows the partnership with law enforcement, right? That Watchtower has established in this case, because if, if law enforcement's taking that call from that vehicle that, you know, this suspect had followed inside the gate, that means that they knew that they had watchtower cameras and they had access to watchtower. So they're able to pull that footage and actually see what's going on at, or on at the community at the current time that this, you know, the resident had reported the activity and then be able to coach their responding officers, um, you know, to who, who that suspect looks like and where they're at in the community to make that successful apprehension. Um, that kind of real time impact of, of what we just saw on video doesn't happen if that relationship's not established between 
you know, our client and local law enforcement that there's watchtower installed and that they have access to those cameras with their permission. So um, just a, a great result of a great relationship between our customer, the apartment community and, and law enforcement and, um, and kudos to that resident for making that call. Hey, Stephen, it looks like this next one uh, was, I mean, law enforcement coming in together and trying to get this individual that was running from them. And it sounds like it was uh, requested from our customer at the apartment community because they needed a, a successful eviction. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, emergency eviction, as they stated it, they needed to get them out quick based on what had transpired. Well, it looks like so, from the speed of him running too, it, it happened very quick, you know, in all uh, assets as far as him being apprehended by law enforcement, which, I mean, I'll tell you what, this looks like a commercial for Dodge Chargers because that Dodge Charger just ate that grass in the courtyard and caught up with them pretty quickly. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Handled the curbs like a pro, just right um, over them. Um, I mean, this, I, I, I don't see these all the time, you know, come through. I know we're serving more than 800 communities today, but to see an individual jump out the back of a second floor unit through the balcony and, and jump down. And I believe, is it true as we're sharing offline that he's wearing flip flops as he's running from the law enforcement? That's what it looks like to me. And you see that all too often where it's, you're not wearing the appropriate shoes to run from law enforcement or really run at all for that matter they lose the shoes they try to go barefoot and you know they they never end up running successfully they always get caught i think it's a shout out to our law enforcement officers too that we partner with because they're usually wearing those big heavy boots right so you almost kind of have a oh, yeah. similar advantage where he's trying to chase you in in you know heavy cargo boots and then you got flip-flops on the other side um, can we just agree, Stephen, between you and I, let's just stay in the middle and just wear dress shoes. So we don't have to worry about running from law enforcement um, or being, I guess, uh, chasing people uh, like we are uh, with law enforcement. But but yeah, I think, again, just, you know, more on the serious side that, you know, it's another example of where Watchtower is here for our customers for whatever they need. Right. So in this case, it wasn't an emergency eviction. They wanted to move quickly. Um you know, we hear that a lot in our forensic review team that, hey, we need this like right away. That's what I love about our forensic review team that's taking those calls to they're going to vet those and make sure that, OK, out of all the customers that we're serving right now across the country, plus Puerto Rico, like, hey, this is one that we can do and get it to our customer right away um, and the law enforcement that they need, you know, for their investigation and prove what happened. Again, great work from the forensic review team on this one, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, and thank you again for joining us. That was another episode of Caught on Camera, powered by Watchtower Security. He is Stephen Claggett. I am John Michaels, and we are so thankful on behalf of Watchtower Security for you to listen in on another, another episode that we're putting out there with our content of really just trying to give you a peek behind the scenes on what we do at Watchtower and how we provide so many different services to our customers that own or operate apartments. Um, we are very thankful for the number of apartment communities that trust us with all things video surveillance. And if you do have an interest in this and you want to maybe learn more about what we are doing, go ahead and, you know, comment here, DM us, depending on the platform that you're looking at. Um, and we can have a member of our sales team reach out to you. Um, but for those of us that are the customers of Watchtower that are listening into or watching us right now, um, thank you guys for again, trusting us. Uh, it means a lot to us and it's really what keeps uh, people like Steven, myself, you know, coming back every day on behalf of Watchtower to serve you, um, as well as the residents that you guys um, have a pleasure to lead to at your apartment communities on a daily basis. Um, Steven, is there anything that you'd like to share as we wrap up another episode here? It's always a pleasure. I like uh, discussing all things Watchtower and, you know, specifically what the review department does. I'm happy to, to serve our clients and the communities. Um, so again, just Thank you. It's been great. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then lastly, for our law enforcement pa or partners that we have and that we talked about today on some of these reviews, you know, thank you for all that you do for your local communities on a daily basis, because it's probably one of the most thankless jobs out there in law enforcement. And um, we're so grateful for you and the strong partnerships that you have with our customers there. Um, and we enjoy working with you on behalf of them. 
And so with that said, we wish you guys the best um, going into 2024 and look forward to sharing more uh, behind the scenes content with you next year.